But at least one stock you like over at American Assets Capital is American Tower. Now, they recently announced they're buying a whole lot of towers from Verizon. What does that mean for American Tower? Well, one of the trends that we're thinking is really important for real estate operators is figuring out how to get in front of the mobile trend. 90% of all the data in the United States was created in the last two years. And where this stuff lives is in tower, uh, lives in data center companies. And Cyrus one we'll talk about in a minute. But the way it gets to your phone, your data all the time is through American Tower. So the Verizon transaction allows American Tower to grow earnings and dividends. We think this company is a 15 to 20% grower, I would think, through the end of this decade. And they're the highest quality of the tower companies. So we like that very, very much. All right, let's talk a little bit about Cyrus One. Pays a nice 4% yield. It's had a great run. It's up around 40% in the past year. What's the catalyst that takes it higher? The company has a footprint of data centers, which are only about half built out. We believe over the next, call it 30 to 48 months, they will continue building out what is called powered shell and turn that into colo leased space. And that will drive earnings dramatically. Um, Cyrus One has been very successful in their modular development program, which allows them to bring, line on, bring space online very thoughtfully with respect to tenant need, and that's allowed them to create returns on invested capital, where they build a building and they get some rent, uh, between 15 to 20 percent per year, which is very much industry leading. And we think that catalyst is now turning out in the stock, and people are starting to pay attention to that. And in, in addition to that, they just raised their dividend, and they have very strong cash flow growth. We're thinking, call it 15 to 20 percent per year. And then finally, you're a fan of a company called Cadiz. They own land and water rights in California. Clearly, there's a water shortage in California. A lot of people are worried about it. So is this a land, a farming, or a water play? Well, what we're looking for at American Assets Capital Advisors is oligopoly, monopoly, duopoly. This is a monopoly. This company owns an aquifer, which is an underground lake, roughly the size of Lake Mead, which is the largest man-made reservoir in the United States. It's 400 feet below the Mojave Desert. And they have inked six deals to sell water on 50-year take-or-pay contracts with municipal water agencies in Southern California. This would be Los Angeles and Orange County. As you know, as you mentioned just a minute ago, there's a long-term drought, and the drought isn't going away. And the things that led to the drought only part of that weather related, a lot of this is CapEx and infrastructure related to the state. So we think that Cadiz should be able to sell water at ever increasing prices to these very thirsty Los Angelinos for the next 50 years. And we think that this stock has a long way to run as this process plays out. All right. Thanks a lot, Pearl. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.